Hello my loves, I'm back with a video that was not planned. This is my second time filming this because somebody, I'm not gonna name any names, but their name maybe rhymes with what? Me, Jay? It's the initials for criminal justice. Anyway, somebody was screaming in the background and you gotta do what you gotta do. So I was planning to talk about this case that blew my mind. Also, I have a video where it was kind of like a Q&A. I found all of these questions in my Instagram other box. I have been there for over 52 weeks and I feel terrible. I just found them. I didn't even know this was a thing, but those are more us. I have to kind of focus. I can't have him as a distraction. So I'm gonna have to make that video when he naps. But I thought that this video would be really fun to do with you guys because I talked about a couple weeks ago how I'm kind of going through an identity crisis as a new mom. I don't really get dressed up anymore. I hang out in the house with a light girl or baggy clothes. And by the way, I apologize. I'm losing my daylight, but I also broke my ring light. So we're gonna go with this crazy video. I filmed a video where I was talking about how I don't get dressed. I'm having an identity crisis. I want to start getting dressed more, wearing my clothes more, etc. A couple days later, I filmed a video with Wesson on self-confidence and something I've been doing for years. And I talked about developing a character and giving your character a uniform, a literal uniform. That sounds crazy. I'll post the video in the cards up above or the description box below so you can understand. But the point is my character's uniform, the outfit that makes me feel the most confident was developed in 2016 and it's totally not my style anymore. So I've been playing with style and outfits and my style has really changed since having the baby. And it's not because I want to dress like a mom. It's just evolved from patterns and kind of like in your face, lots of jersey to still very me, still, you know, some stuff is form fitting and showing off my body and milfy we'll call it basic pieces and neutrals mixed with the clothes I already had in my closet, hard to explain. But I've been trying to really like upstyle my own wardrobe. Is that a word, upstyle? I don't know. Here's what I've been wearing. I figured I would show you guys, I would take you along, maybe inspire you with what I wore to develop your character or just inspire outfits for you. Here's what I wore over the past couple weeks that made me feel bomb, badass in my character, but not just like one specific uniform, more like a style, y'all. Why is this my hand gesture for the video? And by the way, everything is affordable. I don't have, I don't think anything designer anymore. I think the few things I had designer, I, I stole, no, I sold on my Poshmark. <laughs> So this is a flowy black maxi. I actually got it this season at Target. I wanna say it's Wild Fable, but I'm not exactly certain. I'll link it below. It's just very flowy, it's feminine feminine. It's feminine. I wore it with wedges that I got, I think at TJ Maxx or Marshalls. I can't remember who makes them, but I'll link them below as well. Cause it's kind of on the lower cut side. I actually boob taped it a couple times, but I love this. I just feel feminine. I feel comfortable. I feel dressed up. I feel sexy. I wore it out to breakfast once with Adam. We went to like a little bit of a nicer place for brunch. Another time he had a business meeting actually. And I just, we were spending the whole entire day together with him, me and CJ. I just decided to tag along. We sat in the car the whole time. I didn't mind, I felt comfortable, I felt sexy for my man. It was a good day, so I love this dress. I think the time of the business meeting, I just have a pair of Sam Edelman, very thin thong, black sandals. I got it Nordstrom Rack, I wore with this instead. Oh, this outfit I loved so much as well. One of Adam's business partners invited us to go to their church with them on a Sunday morning and then out to brunch with the family. Felt like I needed something church appropriate. I got this skirt actually this season as well at Kohl's. It's a very thin, open knit situation. I love it. I probably should have sized down. You can see in the waist, it's a little bit, a lot big, but I belted it and then kind of floused it. Flounced, flounced, whatever that word is. And so it kind of has like a rib look to it. It did come with a matching tank top that was swimming on me, even the extra small. So I just paired it with this basic white tank top from Target, threw the belt over it because the skirt was so big, it needed something. It is from Amazon. I don't think you can get it anymore, but I'll put other options in the description box below. But I love this because it's something that you can easily transition this outfit into fall, especially if it's still pretty warm where you live. I just felt good in this outfit. I, you know, when you look good, like Adam says, when you look good, you feel good. When when you feel good, you do good. And I just felt very on that day because I felt good. Can I say I felt good one more time? I felt good because I felt like I looked good. This outfit, 
It's one of my favorites from this season. I wore this to go car shopping. This is also one of the first outfits that I was like, you know what, we're leaving the house and I'm not wearing leggings for once and I'm not wearing something that I throw on my body. I wanna put some thought into my outfit and I wanna feel good. These vegan leather shorts are everything. I knew I wanted a pair of them this season. I just think they like take shorts up a notch. That pleated in the front short gives a little bit more room in the leg, really good for girls like me that are, have short legs, we're short and they're like stocky. I, and I have a lot of muscle in my legs. So I feel like these thin my legs out really well. So they're on the shorter side. So having that pleat and the room in your leg makes them look more appropriate, number one. And number two, age appropriate in my opinion for myself. And I've gotten my money's worth out of them 10 times over. I've made so many outfits with them. There is one thing that you get from this video, get those shorts. If I can't find the exact pair I got, I will find similar and affordable options, I promise. That tank top is older, it's from Target. I will link a similar one. And that jacket is a couple years old. I got it at Burlington Coat Factory. The original inspiration for, for this outfit was Houndstooth, but I like this one too. I wound up test driving a black SUV while we were at the car dealership. There's no car seat in a car at a car dealership. So we took turns, we had the baby with us and Adam stopped when I got in the car. He was like, oh my God, you look good in that car. And then he's teasing me. He's like, did you dress to match the car? I was wearing black pattern jacket. It looked like professional. I don't know. I felt like a boss babe. I loved that outfit. You guys, that is the outfit. Well, it's one of the outfits of the day. So this outfit I wore to go to the Asian market. I felt like getting dressed up that day. So this shirt, it's from Macy's. I got it on the clearance rack a few years ago. I'll find you guys a similar one, but any button down that has a dark background in your closet is going to work with this. This is another one that I changed into those flat Sam Edelman sandals because I didn't want to wear heels in the dirty farmer's market, but I loved this outfit. Okay, we're in a new location because somebody needed to eat and I needed to get this video done. So that's why we're doing this. I guess I should say almost all of these outfits, if not all of these outfits are breastfeeding friendly, if you know, that's why you're here. But this outfit was for a dinner we went out to with friends. It was very casual. They were right off of a plane. So we went to a casino. We did nicer casual. So this is a racer back tank dress. It's maxi. I love it because it's got a slit up the side. It's comfortable. It's casual, but it still hugs your curves. It's still very sexy. I'll link a similar one for you guys. I've worn this with rose gold flat thong sandals at night because we were in a casino. I wore it with those same wedges. I will link them for you. This is another outfit that I adore. This, I think Adam and I just went to the grocery store. I don't think we did anything that day, but I wanted to get dressed again. We went to Costco. This was my outfit for Costco, you guys. I love this shirt. I got it at a boutique in New Jersey with my mom. There's so many good memories with this shirt and I love like the white in the pattern there and I paired it with the white shorts. That belt is thrifted. So sandals are from Amazon. This is also one of my showstopper outfits. I loved this outfit so so much. Oh, I guess I should tell you where I wore this. There is an event called Tech Alley here. I think it's in a few different cities, but here in Las Vegas. So Adam and I went. I don't really know too much about it. That's why I'm tripping over my words. But I was just excited that it was a Saturday out downtown and I could wear something fun. This season, I wanted platforms because short girls always look good in a platform. They came back this summer, that raffia, you know, wicker look to them. I went back and forth between a few different pairs that I found. Amazon here, all very similar. I couldn't decide. I went with this pair because it was on sale. So I will definitely link them down below for you. The workwear trend is really popular right now. And I forgot that I had that vest until I was looking through my closet. Where it's from, you guys, I can't remember, but I've had that vest for quite a few years. I used to wear it to work a lot. It's served me well, but especially now that that exact look is in for just like a workwear trend that's here. I just love the way this look came together. I felt so so hot in that outfit. I just felt like I had a swagger that day. I felt so good. I paired it with that thrifted belt again, that same tank top from Target, and those shoes, they did the deal for me. I got so many compliments on the shoes that day. Oh, and then Adam and I went to lunch at this adorable like restaurant bar slash cafe that they have like this outdoor patio area and it reminds me of a place in Jersey City or Brooklyn. You guys, you know you look good when a gay man comes up to you and he's like, girl, your outfit is fierce. He made my whole entire day. He's like, girl, I haven't seen you in so long. He's like, you came to slay today. And I was like, do you want to be best friends? I need you in my life every single day. But these are the same white shorts from Target, the same thrifted belt. That button down is actually from 
the Who What Wear collection at Target from years ago. I just never had a chance to wear it. It literally still had the tag on it. It didn't fit me right when I first bought it, but my body's different now, so it fit me great. And I wore it with the same Hermes inspired sandals. I wore this to the dentist, and my dentist, she has to be late 20s, early 30s, like young and hip, and I love her. She's so sweet, she's beautiful. She complimented my outfit up and down. You know you have the little bib on and you're laying down, and when I went to go get up when she was done with my cleaning, she was like, oh my God, I love your outfit. And I was like, oh my God, I love you. This outfit, I don't even know if I want to add it because I wore it just to film a reel, but I felt really hot that day. This dress is, I want to say it's from Rainbow. Top buttons aren't functional, but it doesn't matter. You can still breastfeed in it because it is regular racer back tank dress. The bottom buttons, you can open them and make them, and make that dress as short as you want. I think it's from waist down. So I made it a little short for the reel. In real life, I button a couple more. I completely forgot to add this outfit, but I absolutely loved it. I wore this out to a concert. Adam and I went with a bunch of people to go see the Killers, who I had no idea were from Las Vegas. This whole entire outfit is from Shein. The top is a bathing suit, but I wear it as a bodysuit. I've never actually worn it as a bathing suit because those straps are metal and I feel like they would get way too hot in the sun and burn me, but I love it. I got so many compliments on that shirt. I'll link it if I can find it below, and if not, I'll link you something similar. The pants are also from Shein, but I got them very recently. They're still there i probably should have sized down they were kind of big on me so just an fyi for you that belt is from amazon and those shoes are from shein i actually didn't wear that outfit with those shoes i was just trying stuff on really quickly and i got lazy <laughs> at the end so i wore it with those wedges which i think looked a lot better because that shirt slash bodysuit slash bathing suit has a tropical feel to it so the wedges looked a lot better loved this outfit i've also been wearing my roseanne necklace a lot i've been working with the company for years they're so affordable i think that necklace is less than twenty dollars and it's always linked in my description box there is a discount code loved this outfit it was a winner this outfit was inspired by a picture I saw of JLo and Ben Affleck in New York City for his birthday. So she wore a really oversized white button down and I have almost the exact same replica, but the problem is I wore it the last time I saw the people we were gonna see that day. So I just kind of took inspiration and changed the colors a little bit. We went to a one-year-old's birthday party and we were told on the invitation that we needed to wear closed toed shoes. It was at like an arcade type of place. So I just went real casual, but I still wanted to look cute and enjoy my outfit. So this is what I came up with and I loved it. Those shorts are just athletic shorts from Walmart. The shirt was gifted to me from Adam's mom. I'll find you guys something similar. The strap on that bag is I think the showstopper that's from Amazon. I'll link that for you too. And those glasses I think are rock aware. The shoes are a pair of trainers from Adidas. I believe Jayla wore Jordans. I just don't have them, but I think they're a lot cuter. Everything else I will link below, but I loved this outfit. I felt comfortable. I still felt very cute and like I was living my best life at a one year old birthday. Speaking of cute outfits, we can't leave this video without Christian's outfit. I still live with my parents. Is that not the cutest? This shirt was $4 and I had to get it for him. So if you have a little one, I'll link it down below. His shorts are from Carter's. Do you care? Probably not. Okay. Say, I'm sorry. I was a maniac during this video. I feel like I have a puppy and he didn't get enough of his energy out today. And I think he's getting hungry. So that's what we're going to go do. Let me know in the comments if this inspired you. What was your favorite outfit of mine? And anything else you want to let me know. If you are new here, hello, welcome. I don't know what we're at 30, 40, 50 minutes later. <laughs> Subscribe so you don't miss a video. We love you guys and we'll see you in the next one. Say bye. Say bye. He gets so confused because this is high and he's got a high down pat, but he doesn't have bye down pat because it's the same motion. Do bye. Bye. No. There it is. Bye. Bye. We love you guys.